Last February, uh, we had a discussion in this room about your membership in ALEC, which has gained quite a bit of prominence the last several months since the Trayvon Martin shooting down in Florida regarding the Stand Your Ground bill, uh, the bills down in Florida anyway. So, and since then, 26 corporations, major corporations, have dropped their membership. 55 legislators have dropped their membership. So my question would be to you, are you considering or will you tell this group here and run on the fact that you will drop your membership in ALEC and stop plagiarizing their bills? Well, I mean, I, uh, some of the things they do, like prison reform, I find quite helpful, and I think the ACLU uh, and others find quite helpful. And, you know, I, I take information from many organizations. Uh, I probably converse with the ACLU. I converse with the ACLU probably, well, I've never talked to the ALEC, but I mean, I converse with the ACLU, you know, 20 times a month at least. That uh, wasn't my question, though. Well, I know, but I mean, you know, there's, there's, uh, there's very valuable... Are you a member of the ACLU? Pardon? Are you a member of the ACLU? No, no. But, I but you're a member of ALEC. I, I pay the, you know, I pay to get the information just like I do with other organizations so that I can get well, information. But why would you be a member of ACLU, then? Well, I'm just asking, you talk to them 20 times a month, why wouldn't you send them the 20 bucks or whatever it costs? You might get honored by the ACL when you hear here pretty soon, Tom. You just touch, touch with them so much. No, I'm serious. I, I uh, work with people when I can. You know, I, you know, some things that we differ on and some things we agree on, and I work with those that... Uh, well, Alex, come on. My question really is, Tom, Alex come under a lot of uh, scrutiny, a lot of negative press. It doesn't seem to be an organization that, and you talked about prison reform, one of their real things that they do, one of their, what I think is a really bad thing they do, is they have bills, they put forward model bills that are actually responsible for the prisons in this country being privatized, which then results in judges issuing harsher sentences. You know, you're, in, you're very much in favor of this indigent reform bill. It seems like if you, it seems like you're, you have a genuine concern to keep people out of prison, and yet when the when Alec puts these bills forward, they have bail bondsmen, they have the uh, Correction Corporation of America that's a member of Alec, and their their interest is putting more people in prison so they can make higher profits. So it it seems inconsistent to me that you would be in favor of uh, you know an organization that's interested in putting more people in prison for profits. So my question still is, are you willing to drop your membership and say on the record here? that you're going to drop your membership in ALEC, given the uh, type of legislation that they've been putting forth, including voter suppression bills, private prison, pr prison privatization, profitization, and a whole host of really bad bills. Like I said, they work, uh, ACLU and others like some of the stuff that they do, and I would not like... I, would I doubt that you'll get the ACLU to agree with anything that ALEC does. Well, I know they do on prison reform and some others, so I would hate to... I, I'm going to check this out, Tom, so you need to tell fine. me the truth. That's fine. Okay. Just so you know, because I, mean, I know I, I, I know people at Alec. I hate to not get uh, good information on things like prison reform that I. Think so you're saying the ACLU is in favor of prison reform I, bills that Alex, Alec is putting forward? Seriously? As I understand, there are uh, areas of common ground in those things, and the, some of the research. Can you name they, one? Some of the research that is available when you pay for the subscription on prison reform is something that it might be very helpful um, in doing things that would be bipartisan. Okay, can, can you name me one prison reform that Alec has written that the ACLU is in favor of? I've been, well, I don't know that they've written. They do a lot of research as well. Well, as they also anything. propose model legislation, yeah. let's be honest. Yeah, but they also do research that's available if you subscribe. Okay, but my question still is, do you know of one piece of model legislation from Alec that the ACLU, that you feel that your opinion is, the ACLU I'm would endorse? research, okay? And I think there's research that I've heard that, is very helpful that I'd hate to not have available to me. I hope you wouldn't want me to not have available things that might be a bipartisan. Well, those, uh, that is effort. not a bipartisan organization, Tom. You know that. All right. Well, they have things that, uh, I, as I understand it, are very bipartisan and That's supportive. Not true. Right. That's just not true. Okay. But so the answer to my question is no. Uh, as far as subscribing so that I get research, I'd like to make sure that I can get research. Uh, it's not, research. That I find it's all, it's not just research, it's model legislation that you then propose and put into the Michigan legislature. Right. Well, their their uh, their bipartisan research uh, seems, bipartisan to be, seems to be helpful. So I mean, at so the this answer point, to my question is at no. this point, you know, I'd like to get that research so that I could do well. The answer to my question is no. You're not willing to uh, get to drop your membership. Anybody correct? else? He's obviously full of the term. Yeah. On the uh, 